little Rosalie Furler from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Hey, welcome. And welcome to Church on the Beach. So glad that you could join us today. There's so many beautiful reflections here today on the water and on the sand. And at the beginning of this new year, 2012, I'd love to share with you about reflections. Well, blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel. Let him be blessed today. For he always does wondrous things. Yes, blessed be the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, who has brought forth from the earth. Yes, he has brought forth bread, and he has brought forth the fruit of the vine. And may you really be blessed today as we continue on with the word of God. In the book of Revelations, chapter 4, and the last part of verse 8, the scripture says, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the God Almighty, the one who always was, who is, and who is still to come. Jesus said in Revelations 1, verse 8, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord. I am the one who is, who always was, and who is still to come, the Almighty One. Yes, Jesus, when he was questioned by the Pharisees, he said, Before Abraham I was. Another one of my favorite scriptures is found in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 9. It says that God has saved us. He has called us with a holy calling. Not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. Yes, let's reflect upon that, that we were in the very heart of God before time began. And he still has a calling and a plan and a purpose for your life. God has not changed his mind about you or I. Walking along the beach, I was reflecting upon the scripture in the book of Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. And this is what it says. Call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. God was beginning to speak to me about this new year. And first he was saying, call unto me, I will answer you. I will show you things to come. I will show you great and mighty things. And of course I want to share it with you today. Another verse that began to burn in my heart was found in chapter 4 of Revelations, verse 1. Then as I looked, I saw a door standing open in heaven, and the same voice that I had heard before spoke to me like a trumpet blast. And the voice said, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen after. Yes, 2012, God wants to open up the ears of his people that they might hear what he is saying. And the Apostle John said, And instantly... I was in the spirit. I believe the days are over when we can walk half-heartedly concerning the things of God. So we need to be full of the Holy Spirit, overflowing with its mighty power, pursuing God with all of our heart, and ready to serve Him, and ready to give an answer of the hope that's in us to anybody that may ask. It's time. Yes, it is. It's time to arise and shine, for your light is come. And God's reflection, the glory of the Lord, is shone upon you. Your light is come. For as the prophet Isaiah said that darkness will come, it will cover the earth. It will be deep darkness over the people of the earth. It is time to reflect upon the word of God and the promises of God of things to come. So let the light of the Lord that's come upon you break through 
all the darkness around about. Again, Isaiah the prophet says, remember not the former things, or don't dwell on the things of the past, the mistakes. But he says, behold, I do a new thing, and it shall now spring forth. Let's reflect upon the calling, the purpose and plans that God has for our lives. That he has plans for you for good and not for evil to give you a hope, to give you a future. Psalm 65 verse 11. You crown the year with a bountiful harvest. Let's believe for the most fruitful year of our lives. Even the hard pathways will overflow with abundance. And when you look around, make sure goodness and mercy are following you. We want you to have a great year. God really bless you. Be fruitful and may your fruit remain.